Hey guys, uh, so today is, today's Wednesday. It's Wednesday. I don't know the actual calendar date, but it's Wednesday. I'll make a quick little video. Just woke up. <laughs> it's one in the afternoon and I just woke up. I've been sleeping in lately because I think I was on the phone with Brian last night till like 2.30. Yeah, that's been our life the last um, week. I don't know how he's going to work each day, but it's fine. 48 hours from now, he will be here. Uh, I'm picking him up from the airport at 10.30 Friday morning. So yeah, really, really excited. Oh, I'm so excited actually, I just miss him so much. Um, so yeah, in three days I'm leaving. Three days. Uh, which is a little overwhelming and I keep saying it and I'm like, okay, like, whoo, okay, it's not really hitting me yet. I don't think it's gonna hit me till I take the stuff up of the basement and pack my car. Um, yeah, it's a bit much. My dog's giving me attitude and I'm trying to cuddle him before I go and he won't even look at me, little shit. He's gonna miss me in three days. Three days, okay. Oh, I just got out of the shower, so my hair is just actually wet, and it's not too much too bad. But I can just freeze it like this, you know. Um, yeah, yeah. So we have the Easter Bunny the next two nights, and then on Saturday, it's going pretty good. I like it. It's a lot of fun, actually. I totally smile the entire time underneath that seat light. My face is sore when I get home, uh, and it's like not that a heavy suit, but it's super, super warm, so I'm exhausted. Ah, uh, yeah. So last night. As the Easter Bunny, I had an altercation with someone. <laughs> um, I know this person. I know their girlfriend more, actually, but uh, like a passing acquaintance, but I do know his girlfriend pretty well. Anyways, they took their kids in to get their picture taken with the Easter Bunny. So their kids are all sitting on my lap, whatever, so he gets in the picture and we're sitting there. And he just thought it'd be funny to go ahead and smack pretty hard the back of the bunny head as a joke to try and knock it off. So that was great. There's a lineup of kids and parents, and he's got a bunch of kids sitting on my lap. Um, but the bunny head is a bicycle helmet that is strapped underneath my chin, and it's pretty tight, and the head is built around it. So when he hit it, it goes flying forward, but it didn't do anything because it's strapped to me. So it was my head that went flying forward, and the strap underneath totally like cut me off. Um, but then it's also got like a neck on it that tucks into my collar, so that all on top. And the bunny has mitts on, not these little fingers, so it's kind of impossible for me to like, you know, lift my collar and tuck it in. So because it was unsuccessful the first time, he gives it another good whack at the back of the head, like flying forward again, and it totally knocked it sideways when I tuck itself. And there's kids everywhere everywhere. Um, I'm like, that's great. If it hadn't been strapped to me, the head would have totally went flying and that would have been traumatic and embarrassing and awful. Uh, so I had to yell at him. Actually, I turned and yelled at him and I'm like, you need to stop that. He just thought it was funny. He's a grown man, actually. Smashed me in the head twice. Totally left a mark. So I, so I told him he had to stop and he said he knows something inappropriate, which I'm not going to repeat. And then they have a fan on me because it's super, super warm. And like a child, he goes over to the fan and turns it off. And then his girlfriend is like, what are you doing? And then he just walked away. Like a idiot that he is. Yeah. Um, so that was great. Like, I feel bad for the girl that's with him because he's a fucking moron. Like, really. You're a dick. In front of all those kids. Like, that's great. So then I'm trying to adjust myself discreetly without taking the mittens off. It's great. Parents and other adults were looking at him like, what the hell's wrong with this guy? You know? Great example you're setting for your kids, bud. Great. So that was my evening. So I told us, and Brian's like, oh, how was the Easter Bunny? Blah, blah, blah. So I was like, oh, I'll tell you about this idiot. He's like, what's his name? I just, you know, look at his developer on Facebook. So I'm like, yeah, so I told him. Uh, and then Mr. Man. Mr. Man writes a post and sends this guy a message and calls him out and tags him in it. So I'm like, what? Not what I wanted or expected or whatever. Not at all, Brian. Like, you know this. We had this little mini argument about this last night. And I was like, you need to take it down. It's going to cause too many more problems. But he didn't. He didn't. It's still there. I would have sworn you've seen it. And I'm like, okay. So I appreciate the gesture, dear. I do. And I get where you're coming from. You care about me and whatever. And I've, I've totally seen something do that to somebody else. I've totally by my mouth and say something called person I don't know bullshit but you know 
I mean, grass is still bunny suit, there's kids everywhere. You can't really say anything. So, I understand it because I would probably have the same reaction. But I'm like, you can't do that. But at the same time, I'm like, makes me totally love him more. Because <laughs> he's that guy. Ryan's that guy that will do that. Not just for me, but like, stand up for anybody and somebody's doing something wrong. You know? Um, yeah, that's what makes him so special. So, can't wait to see you in three days. Two days. Two days. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so that was my evening. Some asshole smash in the back of the bunny helmet. Yeah, it's great. Mm -hmm. And then Brian trying to defend my honor, which is sweet, but I don't know. I think it'll cause more problems in the end, but it's fine. It's your post. Leave it up. I don't argue with you about it anymore. Uh, what else? I don't know. It's snowing out today. It's been sunny. Like, we were at the beach the other day, and I woke up this morning and it's sunny. Or er, snowing. That's it. I gotta keep an eye on my time. It says, oh, I'm only at 5 minutes and 57 seconds. Okay. Brian does my videos too long sometimes. You know what else Brian says? Like and subscribe and share. So my dad went to the bank yesterday. He goes to the credit union and he comes home and he's like, he's at the bank today. Yeah. Yeah, dad. The lady says to me, because he had to show her his driver's license or something, I don't know, his ID. And he's like, showed him my ID and she's like, are you Jen's dad? He's like, yeah. Oh. So she's like, oh yeah, I've been watching your videos. They're really... <laughs> I was like, dad, who's the lady at the bank? So, <laughs> I don't know. Um, it's a girl that was ahead of me in school, but her brother is actually really good friends with Brian. And her mother is a really good customer of mine for years. They're a very nice family. But dad's like, I wasn't expecting that at the bank. And I was like, oh, look at me, I'm picking kind of famous. <laughs> Kidding. Totally just kidding. So it's funny. So yeah, like and subscribe and share to my videos. And uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'll probably do some epic ones right before I leave. We're packing my car and I'm standing there bawling my eyes out, saying goodbye to my mom and my dog. But yeah, that's it for today. <laughs>